Hey guys, and welcome back to a brand new New World video. So what is this video about? Well, there's an interesting game mode that released in the MMO space that is finally crossing paths with a very popular genre called Battle Royale. I'm talking about Plunderstorm, a game mode in retail World of Warcraft that released on March 19th. So I wanted to discuss some ideas to pitch for a Battle Royale that can work in New World. How would this work? Well, let's get into the details. But before we jump right into it, today's sponsor is me. Please click the subscribe button down below. It only takes a few seconds, guys. I really do appreciate all the support you guys have been sharing with me. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, everything that you need to do to help the channel grow. All the engagement is welcomed, and I do like and reply to every single comment. So thank you guys again, and let's get right into the video. So Plunderstorm, it has its generic battle royale just like any other one in the genre where you, the player, are flying above the map and you get to choose your desired location on where to drop. Once you drop and you land on the floor, you're able to start looting, getting gear, chests, and encounter other players. I want to talk about possible ideas of how to start a New World Battle Royale spawn system. How would this work? Well, New World doesn't have any mounts or systems in place where we can fly above the map, unless the game mode or the developers decide to give us a blimp of some kind. But my idea that I think would work best is you choose a location or a region and you would randomly spawn. There are other battle royales that do have this implemented and it does work. Now, please don't hate me. I didn't do my research, but I do have some mobile games that have battle royale where you get to choose a location and you spawn randomly and you kind of start beginning the game. So it's a lot quicker and I think that can work here. We have shrines throughout Eternum where you, the player, are able to fast travel to and from shrines. But that is my idea and I think that idea can work. So what do you guys think below? What about the gear loot? This couldn't be more exciting to talk about. You see, New World already has a great loot system ranging from instant transfers to your inventory. You can also loot chests that go right into your inventory or drops from mobs. In this case, we could use an existing system but allow bags to be seen by all players, not just by you, and the loot would be consistent with all players. So if you see a gear score 700 armor piece, well, your friends and enemies can also see that as well and take it just like any other BR game. You are able to drop gear by clicking and dragging out of your inventory or by other means, this system can definitely work. The example would be if you were working together with a teammate and they need some gear and you have an extra armor piece, well, you can click and drag out of your inventory and the bag will fall onto the ground. Typically in New World, when you drop a bag, it's only client side and the person cannot see the bag on the floor. The only way you can give another player anything is using the trading system. So how awesome would it be that you were to open a chest and your favorite weapon drops out? So for instance, me, I'm a bow main and I get a bow, it's game over. Let's talk about the leveling system real quick. Plunderstorm does have a level system implemented in their game mode, and I've seen players go from level one to level 10. The player is stripped bare bones, they have no class system, and I believe you're able to select which starting weapon to take with you in the game mode. Someone in the comments, please correct me if I'm wrong. So why couldn't that work here? You, the player, have nothing in your inventory. You drop down, you spawn into the region, and you go to the next town, loot a chest and a bow pops out. That can be your weapon. And of course, New World has the ability to equip two weapons at a time, so this can stay in the new Battle Royale mode. But what about the leveling system? Plunderstorm does have a level system, as mentioned earlier, from zero and from what I've seen, level eight, but it's very standard. The player in Plunderstorm will have some definite health increase and damage increase. But I want to elaborate it a little bit more. Let's say we give a limitation in the brand new New World game mode where you are able to get to max level 10 and use five attribute points Weapon XP can be limited, maybe strip away some passives or change the ability trees to fit the scale in some way. What about abilities? Maybe the abilities can be preset within the armor or the weapon that's dropped and there could be other varieties that you could loot and find and equip based off your building needs. I won't go into too many details. I don't want this video to get in depth. I just want to share some ideas. Next topic would be vehicles. Well, a lot of BRs do have vehicles and they do use them quite often. To allow mounts in the BR mode, I don't see that being an issue due to the fact that in season five, OPR will be having mounts implemented. So instead of the mount system being a token that you loot and put it into your inventory and allows you to mount or summon, maybe the mounts can already be predetermined and a set location where they spawn with a health pool. So if the player is running away, the player, the enemy, can shoot the horse or whatever mount you're riding, dwindle its health down to stop that mount from being used again in the game. So that's my idea. And I think that could be very balanced 
and I don't see any issue with that. Let me know what you guys think. Let's talk about the map. What locations would we use? AGS can either deliver us a brand new map or we could use pre-existing areas within Eternum. Of course, with the scale rendered down and having multiple locations to choose from. So how many players would be queued up? OPR already allows 40 people to queue up. Why not allow 40 players to queue up in the Battle Royale mode? Easy, right? So let's talk about the mechanics. BRs have ending circles. Does New World have anything remotely close? Would this have to be a brand new system implemented or created? Well, actually no. New World has a game mode, 3v3 arenas, where they have an ending circle. After some time in this game mode, the ring will start to close and meet at the center, allowing all the players to gather in one location to do close quarter combat. I can see this not being an issue or implemented into the new Battle Royale mode. And of course, just like the circles in any other BR game mode, the ring can do more damage the closer it gets to the center. So that's just my idea. Again, I don't want to make this video too long. I hope you guys can see the possibility that AGS can deliver here. And who knows? They did mention that they have some big, big news to reveal in June. And not a, just a couple months ago, World of Warcraft also stated the same thing. So with the release of possible console, they could release this brand new game mode to a broad, wider audience. And this can and probably will do very, very great. Although we didn't ask for it, this can be a very good breath of fresh air within New World and in the MMO space to be competitive with World of Warcraft and their battle royale. So again, as I mentioned, I don't want to keep this video too long. Let's go ahead and end it here. Are you guys having fun with Plunderstorm? I know I'm a New World channel, but maybe some Plunderstorm pros are here watching my idea. So have you tried it yet? Have you not? Do you want to? Let me know what you guys think or mention something that I have missed in the comments below. Thank you all so much for watching. I appreciate every single one of you guys. I will see you in the next one. Peace. Yeah.